All right, we're here for game number five. I get to be on the play and hopefully can go the distance being on the play. Let's see. This is six cards and seven. Um, hmm. I think that this hand is a keep, but it is a little bit awkward. But we're going to keep it anyway. Mine's also awkward. Need a third land for sure. Yeah, I'm going to keep There's a lot of really good draws that make our hand much better, but we're going to start with a forest and a... Um, Whatever that thing's called. Ooh. Warden of the first tree. Find a forest All in right. here somewhere. There's a forest. So if I draw like a fetch land or just like a plains or a fetch land or even a land of war waste would be great. So, come on, top deck. Nope. Attack you for one. Play another Warden and a Shambling Vent. Here we go. Man, this isn't working out at all. Chauvin's crying for something. Okay. Draw steps haven't been cooperative. Do I really get Swamp here? This probably gives me the most good draw steps if I have Swamp. Okay. okay go. Getting a Swamp. Let's untap and draw. I think... I think leveling a Warden is better than playing this. So we'll just level a Warden and hit you for four. Good. And I'll say go. So you're at 15. He probably has a removal spell for a warden. Yeah, ultimate price, the big one now. Okay. Go. If I got Jungle Hollow, I wouldn't have live ultimate price. Huh. That draw sucks. You're at 15. All right, I think we just go ahead and do this again. Hit you for three yep, out of 12. Cool. Let's say go. Oh, Jungle Hollow. All right, 13. Okay. Go. I feel like Warden is going to bite the dust, but we'll see. I'll attack you. So I could take it and probably get a Rhino, uh, which is... I don't even know if that's better. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just cut it. Okay. It's been cut, and I'll just play a land and play a Gideon. And I'm going to make a knight and say go. All right, so let's get cool. bashed by that Gideon a lot. And I'm not going to crack this fetch because of this card here. Okay, I'm pretty dead. I'd have to draw, like, exactly... Uh, Shrine of Forsaken Gods to live, I believe. All right, done after that? Yep. Okay, untap, draw. So I think that, all right. So I think that we can kill him no matter what he draws, but I could be wrong. So we're at 13 right now. So if I plus Gideon and attack for seven, put you down to six, and then I can Siege Rhino you down to three. Right. Um, oh. And I'm at 22 to 3. Let's see. So if he goes Shrine and Ugin, he's at 3. I can kill him with the Shambling Vent. So I'm going to go ahead and fetch for a Plains and cast a Snapping Gnarlet as well. Oh, no. I can beat anything in the whole world except your Mocha's Command. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> yep, so you're at three. Yep. All right, we will draw. Glad I drew it just so you can kill me with it. <laughs> uh, take a point of damage to activate Shambling Vent. Attack you. I'll put a counter on the vent and make you sack your non existent enchantment. All right. Actually, great. I'll make myself sacrifice an enchantment. All right, it's not an enchantment vent. Nope, cool. it's not an enchantment vent. So. Great. All right. 
All right, so that match went a lot how I expected it to go. Um, basically, the person on the play won four out of the five games, That's which is that. basically the way you expect in a matchup like this. Um, any game where I led on Warden was very good for me um, versus games where I didn't lead on Warden were not that good for me. Yeah, it seemed like he had just enough aggression to kill me before I could like turn the corner in, in the big turn. Even the last turn there with the Ugin, um, maybe like one more life point or something like that. Uh, the looks like the snapping eyelids really helped. I think facing like hanger back walkers wouldn't have been that bad. I just need like an extra turn of reprieve, and it seems like the Abzan decks have figured out how to close in faster than these ramp decks can go over the top of them. Yeah, the the Abzan one of the, one of the best things about this Abzan deck is that its ag aggressive draws are actually very very aggressive. Um, one of the reasons why it's better against in this matchup than something like Green White Devotion is just. How aggressive um, Anafenza and Warden are is just really phenomenal. So um, I think, yeah, I think this Abzan deck is basically proving why it's just probably the best deck in the format right now. Yeah, Anafenza is really hard to beat. Um, like Silk Wrap is one of the best ways to get it, but this deck doesn't really have access to it. It just has, what, Murder's Cut, which I can't really cast before turn three and I have to be lucky to do that, I think. <laughs> the only thing I can cast on, on turn three. Um, but yeah, without something like uh, was it not a murder? Um, Hero's downfall, or I don't think this deck can really play a ruinous path either, because you know it's too strained on the black mana. So I don't know what kind of answers this deck would have for uh, a card such as huge as Anafenza, and like you can't even play Hangerback Walker really in a deck because that's just gets nerfed by yeah. <laughs> as well. I mean, it'd have to be something like Crux of Fate, but even then, like maybe it's too slow, or maybe you don't get double black to cast it. Um, just real considerations. I know I've seen uh, green white decks that play planar outburst, uh, green white ramp decks. So uh, yeah, maybe maybe something like Crux would be good, but at the same or or languish or whatever. But at the same time, it's like, are you even gonna get the second black source necessarily? Like, there's Is there no any guarantee. good death touch creatures, like a little rat or something, typhoid rat or something. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think actually typhoid rats is in standard. All right, <laughs> got got the cyborg deck coming. Yep, yep. Just gonna rat them out. So. Uh, anyway, that was the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, played out basically how I think we would expect it to play out. So it was a pretty good representation of these two decks and what they do best. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And make sure you stay tuned and see us next week as well. Uh, and also stay tuned this weekend for SCG Atlanta, which is a uh, sealed Grand Prix. So uh, I, it's actually not SCG Atlanta. It's Grand Prix Atlanta, <laughs> but SCG is running it. So... Uh, but yeah, it's a sealed Grand Prix, so make sure you check out the coverage for that if you like Limited at all. So. I like Limited, and I'll be there, and you'll <laughs> me, be there. Yeah, me too. So, <laughs> see you guys later. Bye.